All right. Well, now we're going to we're going to talk about deals. And remember, I started off with, well, you can do things the easy way or you can do things the hard way. And we're going to talk about the easy way to get a lot of deals. Now, you know that there's a lot of competition out there in the world, that thing called competition, right? And certainly there's a lot of people out there knowing that when you do certain marketing, you do get certain results. And there's always, look, think about how many houses there are in the town that you're in, in the city that you're in, in the county that you're in, in the state that you're in. So there's lots of opportunities because people die, people get divorced, people get transferred, people lose jobs. There's just all kinds of medical issues that come up. And as a result, there's always an opportunity to purchase some real estate when people are in a situation or they just get sick and tired of the property. They've got another property. They inherit a property. They get put in a nursing home. There's just lots of reasons that people need to offload real estate. So one thing that you got to do is you got to stay active in the marketplace. Now you've heard me talk on other lessons about getting connected with the local community, the low hanging fruit, definitely. And I had uh, a, one agent bring me another broker today over the phone. We had a conversation and it was about, listen, we have all kinds of people that cannot qualify for loans. And I explained our program and I said exactly how we could work together. And she was very excited about that. So get connected with local real estate agents and also get connected with mortgage brokers because they definitely have people that they can't qualify for loans. And that's another way that we find buyers for our properties. But what I'm talking about today is sellers. I'm talking about people that want to get rid of their property. And agents many times have what's called pocket listings where the sellers won't list the property, but the sellers say, listen, I'll pay you a commission if you bring me a buyer, but I'm not going to list it. I'm not going to go through the pain and suffering of the MLS and having all kinds of people come through my house. Uh, you know, some people are COVID conscious as well. So they don't want all these strangers with all their germs coming into their house. So they just, you know, resist even listing the property. And, you know, I've done several deals because of that fact this year. Now think about agents and think about the connections that they have. They know somebody's aunt, uncle, brother, cousin, a, a seller that simply won't list. Maybe it's a hoarder house, whatever the case may be, they can bring those deals to you. Now, what I always recommend is you do a presentation to those sellers and you're able to get a deal. But today we're continuing to talk about finding deals, finding deals the easy way, not the hard way. So certainly connecting with real estate agents, finding what's called off market deals is an awesome way to be able to buy. Another is to say to agents, look, when, before you actually put that property that you're about to list, whatever, whenever that is, always give me a call. I'll give you an offer 24 hours before you put it into the MLS. So they give you a call, boom, you go over, you take a look at the property, you make a presentation to the seller, you get down to the bottom line of my cost to sell worksheet. I invented that back in 2003. It's an awesome thing. And because of that, we've been able to buy so many properties and I teach that to my clients. Well, what's cool about that is now you've got a number to work with. If that number works great, you actually buy the property. If that number doesn't work great, we can now increase our offer to the seller because the seller is going to allow you to may, maybe take over their existing financing on the property or carry back financing. So there's always an opportunity there. And another thing that we do is when we're in neighborhoods, let's say I go visit with that particular seller because they responded to other marketing or because an agent sent me there or because a mortgage broker sent me there or a friend sent me there, whatever it is, whatever caused me to be in that neighborhood, always take your door hangers with you because there's other sellers in that neighborhood. There's other people that might sell their home. And in fact, the other thing we've got is the fact that we buy houses, but we also sell houses, right? So 
So regardless of who's in that house and who they might know, there's an opportunity and we even give them an incentive to give us a call. So that's one of our, our little hidden secret marketing uh, programs. And in addition to that, we send postcards to certain populations, such as people we know that someone has passed away in the family. We, we recognize that we send them a nice letter and we let them know if there's any real estate involved, we'd be more than happy to consult with them for free. And if, if we're able to buy the home, we have some additional bonuses and benefits that we can give them as well. So again, incentives, looking for certain populations, looking, looking for certain types of sellers. That's another way that we find uh, easy deals instead of hard deals, uh, because there's always in every neighborhood, something going on. There's divorces, there's deaths, there's transfers. There's always something going on. If you zero in on those particular populations, then you're able to get a very specific kind of seller because in our marketing, we actually say that that's the kind of sellers we can help. So knowing what someone's problem is before you send out your marketing is also very helpful. Uh, so that's a couple of ways that we do it. Another is driving neighborhoods. So let's say that you have an area like your farm and that's what I recommend that you do is you get a target market. And in fact, I teach you at my Millionaire Jumpstart, I teach you how to identify that target market. Usually within five miles of where you live, you can buy all the real estate you ever needed in your life to take care of yourself and your family. And, and I tell you how to target those deals and how to target those neighborhoods. Well, what's interesting about that is you can have others on your team as well. So maybe you're busy, maybe you're dealing with kids, maybe you've got jobs, all kinds of other things can be distractions and lead to some inconsistencies in your business. Well, what I've discovered is you can have other people on your team doing those things for you. So for example, if you're sending people out to drive those neighborhoods, you're looking, they are looking for, let's say abandoned homes, uh, dilapidated homes, the gutters are falling off. There's blue tarps on the roof. There's tall grass. Good. That's an opportunity. And in fact, we even have an app on a phone that not only you can use, but we've actually got people, drivers that can be working under you that as soon as they identify properties, they put it right into the app. They put another one in the app. They put another one in the app and you know where it came from. So you can compensate them if you're able to buy that home. And one of the cool things about the app is as soon as they put in that address, boom, here comes all the details about that property. So you're able to actually get the deal right away. So that's another, uh, another of the many actually uh, systems that we use to cause deals to occur where generally speaking, you wouldn't be able to get a deal. Uh, so we love neighborhoods. We love target marketing. We love targeting targets within the target market. And we love also just the general marketing of the postcards and the door hangers that can happen within the neighborhoods as well. So hopefully that'll give you a, that's a very tight crash course on what to do and how to do it in finding deals that no one else knows about. Now, another thing I'll share with you is we go much deeper into that uh, at my Millionaire Jumpstart. That's a three day training that we do someplace in the country, usually about every quarter. So if you'd like to know more about that, you can go to millionairejumpstart.com. And uh, in fact, we're going to have a one day, a one day kind of get your feet wet and learn some amazing things from Lou, things that have took, taken me decades to learn. I'm going to be sharing those with you on wealthbuilderworkshop.online forward slash Lou. You can go there and you can get to the $1 page. You can, <laughs> cause I'm literally giving myself away for a whole dollar on a Saturday. 
And that means from 10 o'clock AM Eastern time until six o'clock PM Eastern, we're going to have some amazing training. Plus we even have a bonus happy hour after that, that you can stay for and ask questions and get more details about who we are, what we do, connect with other people that are online. We usually have a big class. So it's, a, it's very, very energized in terms of just the participation, even from the comfort of your own home, you're going to be participating in this class as well. So it's a lot of fun. You learn a lot. And one of the most important things is you have takeaways, actionable takeaways that you can create for your own business. So definitely I want to share that with you. You can find out more at wealthbuilderworkshop.online forward slash Lou. And that gives you some details about who we are, what we do and what we're going to do that day. Now, just know this, we're going to be going into finding the buyer before you even buy. And I'm going to give you the marketing materials that we use to find those folks. So you're going to be able to see what we do, how we do it. I'm going to lay it out for you. The step-by-step -step process It's going to be simple and easy to understand. And it's going to generate one of the most important things you could ever have in real estate. And that is a buyer, the person who's going to buy the home, how much down payment they have, how much they can afford on a monthly basis. You're going to know that before you ever go buy the real estate. I love that. It works extremely well and it's something I want to teach you. So we're going to do that on the one day. And the second thing I'm going to go into great depth in is trusts, land trusts and personal property trusts is going to be the focus of what I'm going to teach that day. And if you haven't used uh, land trusts, this is something you definitely need to learn about. If you have used land trust, this is something you definitely need to learn about because I promise I'm going to talk about some things you've never heard before. You've never considered before, and it's things you can make a lot of money off of for sure. So I'm going to be teaching you about those trusts and in fact, what to look out for in other people's paperwork because they haven't simply been in this game since uh, 1984 is how long I've been using trust. So it's been a long time in a, in a magnificent journey to discover what works and what doesn't. So definitely we're going to be doing that on the all day as well. So I invite you to join me at the wealthbuilderworkshop.online forward slash Lou join for $1 and, uh, and, by joining, that actually gives me permission to communicate with you. That actually gives me the ability to send out our documents in advance of the event. So you'll have some documents to follow along during the event and, uh, and some goodies that I wanted to give you as well. So before the event, once you've signed up, don't worry about it anymore. The day before I'm going to do a send out and you can download that. You can print those out. And then the day of the event as well, you're going to get another reminder. And that's all because you pre-registered. If you don't pre-register, you're not going to know about it. You're not going to see it. So it's very important that you take advantage of that and you go ahead and get registered for that. All right. Now don't forget it during these live events that we do here, we do give you an opportunity to ask questions. So now is a great time to ask any questions that you have.